Hello everyone, this is Yan Bing. So at the beginning of this video, I wish everyone have a good Chinese New Year holiday and uh, have a good time with your family together. So, this video, video I'm going to discuss about the new feature of Spring Magic 3.4, which is the uh, initial, the post-match, and uh, the plan collision. So let's discuss them one by one. First of them initial. So let's try this is a regular <coughs> bond chain. So let's see the default result. Uh, just one second, let me turn this off and try again. Okay. We can see that's a pretty common result of the spring magic. Then now if I give the initial value like point eight, see again. Okay, from this angle you will notice there is a bouncing back feeling of the bond chain. So it which make the bond chain feels a bit weight. So that's the purpose of what initial do. It can provide the weight feeling for the chain. So let's see. But the initial is working with the spring. So if I make the spring harder, the smaller volume means harder bond chain, but keep the initial same volume, see what happens. So you can see that result is a pretty bouncing back like a real spring, like metal spring result. If I don't want that bouncing around result, then we can choose it. And I give a smaller initial value like 0.5, do again. So it's not that crazy bouncing anymore, so it's more feels like metal result, a metal stick or something, right? Okay, if with a smaller initial value I give a bigger spring value. You will see just a little bit, but basically almost almost like no initial. So which means these two values they are working together. You have to adjust them together to get a correct result you want. This is about initial. So let's see the plan collision. Here's the plan, here's the chain, let's see. If I turn on that collision Uh, no, I didn't do the calculate, sorry. Okay, you'll see the bond chain is collide with the plan. It's not getting to that anymore. Okay, I can actually move the plan to get different result. Calculate again. So now it's different result. So it will only collide with the plan you look, the size of the plan you can see here. And it's only collide with the with the front of the plan, which is you can see the shape of plan. If you see from the back, it's uh, invisible. Then the co the collision will not work in from the back. So that can make you can identify which side I can do the collision happen. So how to make that plan? Just click this button, it will spawn plan. How to adjust the size of plan? Do not do not use the scale, I lock that. To avoid you accidentally to move the value, just use this wide and height to change the size of the plan to make your collision correct. 
also the the plan can be key set keyframe as well. So if I say here I want to keep the plan here. Let me remove the keyframe. I do some test with you. So the beginning is here and then I go down. Then I keep the chain stay there, but I move the plan. I move the plan to go up and change some angle maybe and then hold there for a while and then move down to give away okay let's see what's the result see they are interactive with each other not chain move the plan, plan also can move the chain so that's how the plan collision work so when your calculation is done you're good you're happy with the result just click it this button or you can pick to re to use the delete key or just use this button to remove all of them and the chain result is still there okay the next one is about the post match what the post match do so sometimes I want my chain can do some follow through result, but I still want to keep the shape of my keyframe of the bond chain. So I wanted the bond chain to look basically like a C shape at this time and then back to stride. So with no post match, what the result is, uh, sorry, maybe I, sh I forgot to turn off this one. So with no post match, let's do it again. Uh, maybe I should have to reopen the file. Okay, let's go in. So without the post match, the default result with, with the chain I was trying to keep the first frame of calculation, the shape of first frame. So it will always try to be straight because the first frame is straight. It cannot. It will lose the C shape at the middle. Okay, that's the default result. So with the post match turned on, same thing. See, it keep the shape. We make the keyframe post there, it and it it will try to keep it. Meanwhile, it will try and also apply the follow through on that, at, on top of the basic post you made. So this can also working with all of the features together like I can have apply an initial there give a smaller value to make it obvious and I give the I give the plan collision here ah. so I move the plan here so they will yeah maybe too crazy back a bit so they will collide together and make the they supposed to collide together, have the weight feeling and keep the C shape we made. So let's see. See? You see everything happens together. Okay, so basically that's everything on the new Spring Magic 3.4 and enjoy and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.